Welcome Fusers, this video will just be a quick glimpse of the overall Centrifuge front end and some of its core features that are available to purchase right now at Centrifuge.com. If you enjoy this video, head on over to Centrifuge.com and enjoy a 30 day free trial on us. Let's get started. The first thing you're greeted with when loading Centrifuge is the main screen, which is composed of a center section, a header, and a footer. The main screen has multiple pages, giving you easy access to all the features and apps you've installed. This of course is customizable, moving and adding icons to your liking. In the header, the center status bar shows current information such as playing song and artist and track position which is displayed here in the scrub bar. You can click this area to display more information in the drop down box and also manually scrub through your track. The right side of the header is your skip and previous track buttons while holding gives them fast forward and rewind capabilities. To the left is your play and pause button and a quick access button of sorts. This will take you immediately to the media player with your currently playing music list. More on that in a minute. Click the button again to roll up the media player and return to the home screen. Now in the footer you have your standard volume controls which also may manually be controlled here. A mute button is also included as well. Next to that is our voice command prompt. This is a feature we're really proud of. Tap this icon and you're given the ability to control your system with a bevy of voice commands. You can have it go to specific pages, load certain artists and albums, change tracks, or even make phone calls directly to your synced phone. In the bottom center is your time and date, which you can switch between with a single click. A gray bar that will illuminate green when you are connected to a network, and if you have Bluetooth active, you will see the connected and signal strength icons of your connected mobile device. To the far right is the universal home screen icon that will always return you to the home screen. If you are already on the home screen like we are now, clicking this icon will give you the option to close centrifuge, put it into hibernation or sleep, and shut your system down. So on to the fun stuff, let's get some jams going on right now. From the library button, you can access all of your music, which is automatically organized into different categories. Artists, Albums, which has three different layouts to choose from. Genres and saved playlists. I only have my favorites here now. So with 3.5 and above, there are a ton of new ways to find the music you want faster. Can't remember who sings your favorite song? Just use the search tool. Don't feel like navigating through your library manually? Use voice commands to load up your favorite album instead. Lost your voice at last night's concert but you still want to rock? Just use our handy jump list down here to get to that rock genre quickly. Like I said, there's a lot of paths to take to get to the same destination. So let's play some music for real. I'm already in the genres category. Let's select an artist and one of their albums and we'll click play. It will be added to your playlist queue and begin playing immediately. This media screen always shows you're currently playing media, whether it's music or a movie. This page also lets you select any song within the loaded playlist with just a click. So let me load another artist now, this time through voice commands. Just click this icon here, load artist 07. Neat, right? See, once you add more music from your library, your playlist count will increase. You can see we're up to three here now. Clicking this icon will cycle between and up to my last 10 created playlists. To get rid of one of these playlists, simply click the unload button underneath. USB devices, iPods, and your local hard drive's playlist will all be added to this tally, but media loaded from a CD will increase this icon's playlist count instead. Let's talk a little bit more about this page. You can always gain quick access to your library with this button here. To the right we have some sweet visualizations and album art which you can cycle through with a single click. And with a double click you can full screen them for when you hold those single person rays in your car. Don't lie, I know you do it. Now let's say you're jamming out to some funky new beats and you want to save the song again for later. So be click the star to save it to your favorites playlist. The favorites playlist is composed of just that, all your favorited tracks. You can access and load this immediately by holding down the star icon for 2 seconds or through the library in the playlist category. If you grow tired of this track, just click the star again when it's playing and it will be removed from your favorites list. 
Under favorites is your shuffle and straight play toggle button. And remember, you can always return to the home screen using the home screen button in the bottom right hand corner. Those are the basics of the centrifuge layout and home screens and how to load, play, and manage music from your library. Let's move forward and review the integrated phone and Bluetooth abilities that come with Centrifuse. These are more advanced and hold more features than any other previous Centrifuse in days past, which hopefully means less headaches for you, better call quality and syncing, and easier access to the features you need. Once your phone is synced to Centrifuse, which is covered in another one of our videos, tap the phone icon to access your Bluetooth phone. You will only need to sync your phone once. Every other time you sit in your vehicle and start your car PC, your phone will auto-connect to Centrifuse. Let's look at the main interface. On the left we have Favorites, Contacts, and Calls. Favorites work similar to how it does in Media Player. You can favorite any contact and it will automatically be added to this list. Contacts displays your synced address book and Calls lists your dialed, missed, and received calls, which is also synced directly from your phone. Dialing a new number is as easy as tapping the keypad button. Adding a new contact is also just as easy. Simply click, enter in their name and numbers, and you're good to go. Similar to Media Library, we've also included the jump list in your contacts list for faster phone book browsing. That's the general overview of the Centrifuge phone app. Once in a while, you're going to need to edit some of the settings within Centrifuge. Whether you're syncing a new phone, installing a new microphone for advanced voice commands, or setting up a new app you've just installed from the market. The basic and global settings within Centrifuge can be accessed in the system and then the settings menu. The main button houses all your basic and advanced settings, such as where the music library is located, the button layout of the main screen, importing your phone book, enabling and disabling sounds, just about everything you can think of is in this area. The plugins button will also house all of your settings for any app that you install from the market. So that's going to round up our walkthrough here today. I hope this video provided enough general information to help out new users and get a feel for the Centrifuge application. If you're interested in learning more about specific features, check out some of our other videos here on YouTube. Visit the website at centrifuge.com or drop us a line on the forums, which can also be found on our site. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.